one that you had last year? Looks no, like no, it's no, I got it for here. For that's, here oh, that's a new one. Yeah, yeah, I got it for, I got it, I got it last year, but I got it for this year. Gotcha. I got a last year. I know. I was gonna say. That makes any sense. Yeah, it looks it looks worked in there. Yeah, yeah, looks yeah. looks like it's ready to go. Is that the, gonna be the gamer? I hope so. I'm trying to make it one. It still needs a couple more, a couple more days in it. And is that the that's a pro preferred? It looks like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro preferred inside and a go glove on the out. I notice a lot of guys do this. They, you know, they get a glove from the year before and then they work it in the whole year. What's that process like? Yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, depending on sometimes you get really hard leather. Sometimes you get more soft leather or whatever, uh, but just a matter of playing catch with it. That's what I just do. Yeah. I don't put it in the microwave or throw it in a shaving cream on yeah. it or whatever. Just play catch with it like you would and let it form to your hand. And that's pretty much the process. What's the what's the model on that? What, do you know what the... <laughs> uh, Pro S12 ICPR. Oh, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. I couldn't tell you. Is it something that you kind of consciously decided on to get that um, to use the h-web that's a little bit unusual for a second baseman uh playing third and third things. base but uh <laughs> and third, and maybe a little less less for third base but uh i had the uh had the i web or the t web whatever the yeah was. yeah I web. the ball just kept getting stuck in there and so uh actually mark harris um he's with the what's he with now he's uh he's one of our minor league coaches and uh, he had told me, yeah, if you get the H wave, then ball ain't ever gonna get stuck in there. Yeah. So uh, I decided to give it a try. It's been working so far. It's been working well. Yeah. So uh, growing up, I mean, you know, I was always a Griffey guy. I was, I'm an outfielder. So mm -hmm. did you have a guy that you kind of looked up to that, as far as the <laughs> gear and? and yeah, all? I was actually a Griffey man myself. Um, Who wasn't? Uh, exactly. Uh, you know, I guess the big kid. Uh, but I mean. Where I came from, I mean, we didn't really have the best of equipment, and then you're trying to kind of just take what you're given. That's pretty much how it is. Yeah, yeah. Did you um, did you like to like kind of style your game after anybody? I mean, did you play uh, infield for all the way coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played infield my whole life. Um, I would even and I switched it back in the day when I was growing up, and so I did. All right, imitate his swing. <laughs> we're talking about gloves, but <laughs> I would imitate his swing back then. So how about? The way you care for it when you uh, when you're on the road. I mean, are you are you really, you know, worried about where it's at at all times? And, and uh, kind of not too. I'm not too worried. Um, as a matter of fact, I might let it. I don't mind if it gets floppy, if it gets loose. You know, some guys they like it the perfect shape or whatnot. Yeah. Um, I'll have it keep the shape. So I'll put maybe my sliding shorts and a bolted up t-shirt and my socks inside just to keep the pocket in there. And I just won't throw the glove in there, just like how it is, and let it get folded around. So I'll have a little bit of clothes inside, so it won't, I guess it won't conform. I guess it'll be flat. Yeah, it's yeah. Flat. And the, I think the last question I have for you, uh, you said it's pro preferred. Do you prefer that versus the heart of the hide? Have you had both? I mean, what do you what do you uh, think really, about that? I couldn't tell you the difference. As long as it catches for me, I'll be happy. <laughs> I mean, I'm a simple man.